Yeah. Oh man. Hey guys, Joel Stay here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So I've been doing a lot of reviews on 4K TVs, monitors like the one behind me, uh, different brands, different sizes. But the other day, a friend of mine asked me, hey, Joelster, what monitor or what display would you recommend me if I'm traveling? I want something that I can take my Xbox One X with in a backpack, something small, something not that big, something that has an external battery probably with a micro USB, uh, but something that looks good and is not that expensive. So he, he was very specific about what he wanted. So I went online on Amazon looking for something, uh, something similar. So I stumbled uh, around different brands, but I made my decision and I purchased this one. So this is an IPS display. This is a 10 inch IPS display. Also it's a 2560 by 1600. So it's around 2K display, you know, and it said it supports HDR. So I was very intrigued to find out how this one looks. So I'm going to connect this to the Xbox One X. Welcome to the channel, guys. Let's find out how this little small display works. Let's do this. All right, so inside the box, you'll find the power brick, the micro USB cable, and an HDMI cable. Now this HDMI cable is very special because one side is a regular size HDMI and the other one is a mini HDMI port. Now on the left side, you're going to find two mini HDMI ports, one 3.5 millimeter port for headphones, the micro USB port for charging and an extra port for charging. Now on top, there are two speakers. They're not that loud, but at least they are speakers in here. Now on the other side, you're going to find the power button, also the access to the menu, the volume up and down, and the back button. They also include this tablet holder. It's not the best, but it gets the job done. So here it is, guys. We are connecting this 10-inch monitor to the Xbox One X. And the first thing I want to do is to go and check on the resolution right here. We're going to go into settings on the Xbox settings, display and sound. The first thing I notice is that the resolution is only limited to 1080p or 720p. Although I have, must admit that it looks beautiful. You know, it looks very, very sharp and very colorful. I like that. Over here in video modes, it's only allowed to put at uh, 60, I'm sorry, 50 hertz. Even though this one, it, it does run at 60, up to 60 hertz. But I don't know, for some reason, it's just telying me it's up limited to 50. Uh, allow YCC 422. It's running, okay. And then allow HDR10. So it is, you know, it is... Uh, receiving the image, the HDR10 signal over here, 4K TV details, <laughs> everything is on red. Like it doesn't support 4K, not even 2K, nothing. I don't even have the option of the 1440p video modes over here where you check this video fidelity and over scan, nothing. I mean, Let's see, color, space, RGB. Yeah, so, I mean, this is how I normally use this, all right? But uh, let's go and try some game, right? Let's go and try Call of Duty, for example. I'm already testing this game. Let's play some uh, multiplayer, fast action. All right, guys, so we're about to jump into this game, Casino Team Deathmatch right here in Call of Duty Black Ops 4, Black Ops 4. Uh, I don't think I've ever been to this place, this casino, but Jesus, it looks beautiful. Look at these colors. Very, very colorful. Another thing I noticed is that it has these buttons right here. It has quick access. So, for example, let me press this one right here, and it has access to HDR. You can switch to HDR Auto or this 2084 HDR, which looks oversaturated. I don't like it. and Or turn it off. I think off or even auto, I'll just leave it to auto, because it, it doesn't, I don't think this is true HDR, it doesn't even, uh, honestly, I don't even think this is true HDR, but being on auto looks good, 
And also with other buttons, you can control the volume. So right now I have it at 34, 35. So that's it. That's really cool that I have quick access buttons right here on the side. So let's check it out. Let's see how it plays. My God, guys, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful details. I do notice a little bit of input lag, not that much, but you see, let me try, let me test this one real quick. Oh, shoot. Now, you, you can't see right here on this video, but um, it does feel a little bit slow. There's a little bit of sluggage, but what I'm thinking is that if you're going to be traveling, you're not going to be playing online. Hi. Oh man. Oh, somehow I get, I got the points. But uh, what I was saying is that if you're going to be traveling, I don't think you're going to be playing online, especially like these kind of games. I will I assume, you know, but uh just wanted to let you guys know the situation right here. I mean, when when I come from a monitor or a TV, it does feel a little bit laggy. Not much just a little tiny bit other than that my god man this monitor looks sharp colors look beautiful this is an IPS monitor 400 nits of peak brightness it does look beautiful if you're playing with your Xbox One X even though like I showed you guys before the the resolution right now is supposed to be at 1080p but this looks very, very sharp for a 1080p. Orale. I like that display that even though it's uh, it's an IPS display, I noticed that the black levels, uh, the, they're really, really good. This is a 1000 to 1 contrast ratio, but it's still, I find that like the black levels are really good. Maybe it's because it's a very compact design. Or I'm not sure, but um, let me show you something else. So there's over here the back buttons. You can access different menu settings. So for example, over here we have the brightness. Oh, oh I went back. So you need to learn how to use this menu. So for example, so we have the brightness right here. We can increase contrast, black level, echo. So over here we have different uh, picture settings. This is the standard. This is RTS, this is FPS, this is text, movie, game, and standard. So, so far I like standard, either, either picture setting, you can still adjust the brightness, contrast, and black levels, right? So we go back over here and then DRC, I have this one turned off, let me switch it on, off, on. I'm just gonna leave it on. And then we get access to sharpness if we want to. And that's pretty much it. So let me go back into the game real quick. And I'll show you more. Oh man, I haven't. Oh man, this looks so nice. Oh, I'm getting overheated. And then I also wanted to show you that this one, it says that it supports freezing. So I'm not sure how could this, how could this support freezing, right? And uh, so let me see if I can turn it on. Let me see if I can turn on freezing. And then we start right here. Honestly, guys, I don't think this would support freezing, but you know, who knows? Oh yeah. No, freezing looks terrible. Look at all this shaky right here on the image. That does not look good. So let me turn this off. Oh man, I don't even know if this is gonna work. Oh man, this is this is not working. No, don't not do not use freezing. It doesn't work properly. There you go. This looks beautiful. Do not use freezing for some reason. It doesn't work. And on the Xbox over here, I'm pretty sure it doesn't even take freezing. I, I forgot about that. 
let me just check yeah it doesn't even allow free sync so i don't know maybe one on pc it does work better on free on uh, free sync on pc but it doesn't work right here on the xbox that is for sure dude guys i'm not even doing the mission <laughs> i'm just playing around here but uh let me go back to let, actually let's go and check another game shall we I don't know what I'm doing, but I just wanted to show you guys how this game looks. All right, guys, so I show you that you are able to play your games here and games do look beautiful, but I also wanted to see how movies look. The only thing that I, right now I'm playing with a HDX right here on Voodoo, which is like a 1080p display or full HD. But like I said, even though the display is like that with this, uh, it's so compact. This display is so compact that the resolution, it doesn't even matter if it's a 1080p or 20 by 60 by 1600, it does look beautiful. All right, guys, so I also wanted to see how portable this will be. So I brought my DAC kit carrying case for the Xbox. I put the games, cables, and one controller inside. I closed my carrying case right here with the zippers. Here is the screen. Now inside, my Xbox One X is already inside. So what I wanted to do, just put the screen right over here, but I think to, for a better safe keeping, I'm just gonna flip it, close the carrying case, make sure everything is closed, and that's it. We are set to go. Everything fits fine inside and it's safe. All right guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this one. So far, this has been working good. I haven't had any, any complaints except for the freezing option, but honestly, I wasn't even thinking that this monitor or this small display has had free sync. Viewing angles are actually very good as well. So if you have this maybe in a in a different angle, maybe you have it upwards or on a different angle, may, you're going to get really good colors, very good uh, contrast. This is an IPS, so what else can you expect? Uh, the brightness levels is actually look good. I don't have any complaints at all. My only complaint right now is that, I don't know if you guys noticed right here on the left, there's this little bar, very, very small. I don't know, maybe it's something about the display. It's not a well aligned. I don't know. That is the only complaint I have found so far. Other than that, this monitor is working good. Hopefully it still, still you know, keeps on working this way. But uh, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll be uh, right there answering some of your questions. Right now, this monitor is $140. And I think it's a, it's a really good buy. On my next video, I'm going, to, I'm going to connect this to my PC. And then I'll show you how it works on PC. And then I am also going to connect it to the PlayStation 4 Pro. Thank you so much for stopping by, guys. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.